raining outside. I look dusty, dirty, and crazy, right? Uh, I like to do these things because people don't know what a survivor looks like. They think of us as once you're raped, or in my in my case, beaten for 27 years, and for the, the, the last 10 of those years, about it was lots of different rampant sexual abuse. For that last year and a half ish, it was a, almost an everyday thing. Like it was, it was torture, right? Um, so just say torture. Um, so when you, ooh, I, I learned from a paramedic that if you don't, if you if you put your leg up there, then and you cross, get into a car accident, your leg goes into your eyeball. Though you shouldn't do that, sir. But I don't care. So that <laughs> today. Uh, I, I turned on a camera today because I'm not sick. So first, I am anxious today because, and I feel, ugh, I can't describe it. It feels like everything is on. Like I can see every single blade of grass. It was a superhero movie. I can't remember what it was. I think it was The Flash. And he could see everything. No, it was a comic book. It was a Flash comic book. And he could see every single blade of fucking grass and every little thing. And that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. But I'm not the Flash, even though I'm going around it today. I don't know how I'm going to do that. And for me, I don't like to use the word triggers because I am not a war veteran. I hate even saying I have PTSD because I have family members that were in the military. They have real PTSD. I just suffered a little bit, a lot. But whatever. On days where it rains, uh, and it's ucky outside, and, and especially when it's cold and rainy, my body kind of goes into overdrive. All my senses peak up and I get every, I can't look at dirt in the corners. I can't see dirty grass. I don't like lint. I can't see filth anywhere. I can't have dirt in my car. I can't have lint in my car. I can't have hair anywhere. Like it's a big thing on rainy days. I can't see filth anywhere. It fucks with me. And I, I'm not eloquent enough or smart enough to say the words that I'm trying to say. But it's like everything, it makes me freak out and want to curl in a ball and die. But I gotta go to work. I gotta work. Because I have to survive. The thing that the thing that sucks about rape is not just the violation. Like, yeah, that sucks. It's some shit, ah, goddamn. But what really sucks is that you don't get to like curl in a ball and die like they tell you in the movies. You know, and just disappear and then some some handsome man or woman comes and saves you from from work and you get to sit somewhere and you're taken care of forever no you still have to go to work i remember one day i was salted in the morning and i had to work at noon that sucked that sucked that sucked ass you clean your face up and you carry your ass to work and it sucks because you get real well you do get real good at like compartmentalizing it and putting it back in your head so if there's ever a war I think I would be okay now I think I can help what I do to to I was supposed to be helping y'all what I do to get through these days like when I look dusty and dirty right and I can't really function I can't really do anything I gotta get myself warm first I can't I can't be cold fucking whore. Why are you allowing me as I can to open my eyes? Because I also have an anxiety thing about being tired. I'm terrified to be tired. Because if I'm tired, I can't fight. So whenever I have tired days, it fucks with me too. And I'm angry. I'm rage. I'm out of this world rageful. Um, so what I do is I get myself really warm. I turn on the heat in my car. It's hot as hell in here. That's okay. I also fuck you! God! So what I do is I get really warm and I get really hungry because you got to be able to feel stuff now. Does that make sense? Like, like you got to be able to, so I keep this thing on my car and you can see this and you can squeeze it and it'll almost like, if you squeeze it hard enough, it'll cut you, but you can feel it in your hands. So I do it like that. I just kind of, it's like a scratch in your hands. And then go ahead, you fuck knuckle. I, the next thing I do is I starve. I'm fasting all day. I will not eat today. Why? Because I need to feel the now. I need to feel now. I need to feel this right now. I need to be here. So I'm hungry right now and that feels good. Um, is that an eating disorder? I don't care. I don't care. Right now we're not worried about the eating disorder. We're worried about the this shit. We're worried about this. 
making sure we don't fucking lose our minds because I got to go to work. Um, and then I work with dogs, so I feel the fur and I rub on the fur and stuff. Um, I go on a run, but when I go on a run, I kind of zone out. And that's a different thing that we can do. Um, but I'll, Or I'll do really hardcore exercises. Then I clean my whole house. I'm able to do it. Sometimes cleaning helps, but cleaning means you have to touch the dirt. I don't like to, the dirt and the grass. I don't like the dirt and the hair. I don't like lint and stuff like that. I don't like it on a good day. It really freaks me out on a day like this. Why don't I like dirt? When you're raped, you feel what? Dirty. Violation feels dirty. That's why. So, yeah. So if y'all gotta go to work, which y'all do, y'all do. It's gonna suck. That's the one. That's what's gonna fuck with you. I promise you. It's gonna fuck with you. You're gonna be like, you mean to tell me I was just tortured for 27 years and I gotta go to work every day? I can't, in the movies they said when she got out of the thing, some big old strong man would save her and then she would just live in the house with him with a dog forever. And then, or she's sitting in a rock chair and go, and some days were good and some days were bad. But he was there for me, no matter what just like that but no you in here driving a car whose tags may or may not be interesting trying to pray your way to work just get down just get down